What's up, family? Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about why chosen ones have such a hard time making friends. You know, I made a video a couple of weeks ago talking about, you know, why chosen ones don't fit in and have no friends. And, you know, one of the main reasons why we don't fit in is because, one, God called you out of this world, okay? And when God chose, when God, you know, calls you to be a chosen one, okay, now that He calls you to be set apart, He calls you to, you know, come out from among them, come out from the world, you know, not to be unequally yoked. Okay, so and all all these responsibilities that we have when it comes to being a chosen one, it's e well, it's easy to us. When I say responsibilities, it's not a burden. Okay, living for God, living to please God, living to serve God is a true blessing. We gotta reprogram our you know our mind, our brain when it comes to serving the Most High. Okay, so when you we you know understand there's an opportunity every single day. Maybe if you're not living right at the moment, okay, you know we there's there's a day as long as you're still breathing to repent and get right. Okay, so I want to make this very clear. When it talks about no, when I, when I talk about, or when I talk about no friends, I'm not saying that, you know, that you're gonna have never gonna have any friends and you're gonna be forever alone. No, I'm saying that, you know, the reason why we have such a hard time making friends is because, you know, the Bible says we can't have, you know, we can't keep company of, you know, the evil communication, corrupting good manners. The Bible says that the friend of the world is the enemy of God. So it's like we're trying to live for obedience and we're li we're looking around, we're, we're looking around, we're seeing that we live in a godless society. Okay, we live in a, a society that promotes sin, that promotes evil and, and demonic stuff. And us chosen ones, we don't want to be a part of that. Okay? We don't want to be a part of that because we know that's going to affect our spirit. It's going to respect, you know, most importantly, it's going to affect our relationship, our walk with Christ because willful sin opens up doors in the spiritual realm for demonic spirits, evil spirits, unclean spirits to come in your life to, and to torment you, to attack you. Okay? So we, and we dealt with that. We fell short, us chosen ones, we fall short all the time. We fall short all the time and we don't want to deal with that. Okay? And y'all understand that as a chosen one, before you became chosen, we all had our own demons. Okay, anyone who says they did it is a liar. Okay, the Bible says if a man says he's without sin, he's a liar, and the truth is not in him. Okay, so we had we had our own vices, we had our own bad habits. Okay, some of us struggled with with lust, some of us struggled with uh, alcohol addiction, uh, drug addiction, uh, overeating. You know, you know things of that nature, right? Gossip and all that, right? So. You know, before we came, before we became chosen, right? Now I know the Bible does say that God has chosen you in the womb, okay? But I'm talking about when we became conscious that we're chosen, okay? So when we became conscious that we're chosen, we started to see that we weren't living right. So we had to fight those demons off. We had to start fasting. We had to start praying. We had to do so much. And best believe, whenever you try to fast those demons off, the unclean spirits off, whenever you try to depart from evil, depart from sin, that's when the devil attacks the hardest. And we had to fight the devil. We're, we're, and every single day, we had to fight the devil. We had to fight the flesh. And then we had to deal with the enemies of our own household. We had to go through so much chaos, so much, so much warfare, okay. And you know, when, when, once we win the war, once we win the battle, okay. Now these people come into our life, and they have those same spirits that you struggle with. You don't want to deal with that no more. So we just choose to be alone. And a lot of people don't understand us, okay. Just like how they didn't understand Christ, because all you chosen ones, you have the Spirit of Christ that abides in you, okay. The Spirit of Christ abides in you. And best believe they hated Him. So if you have the spirit of Christ and they hated Christ, what are they going to do to you? They're not going to like you either, man. The people of the world, the people that are in darkness, because best believe you could call yourself a Christian or an Israelite or whatever faith base you know you subscribe to, and you can still be walking in darkness. You hate your brother, you walk in darkness. Okay, you you know you you uh, uh, talk bad about your mom and dad. Okay, and I understand that not you know not all of our parents are living right, but hey, the commandment says to honor your father and mother. So even though you might have a disagreement with your parents, with your mom and dad, at the same time you still got to honor them because hey, they brought you. You know, obviously God brought you in the world, but you know they were the you know they were the carrier. Okay, they, you know that. So you got you got to respect and honor that. Okay, so always keep that in mind when when we live for God, the people of the world ain't doing that, so they're gonna feel some type of way, and you know, and if they don't feel some type of way. You know, we like, and anyone who has spiritual eyes to see, okay, anyone who has spiritual eyes to see, you'll see that the minute you start talking to certain people about God, the Bible, your faith, uh, the, the narrow, the narrow path, you know, the thing, the, the spiritual things, you know, that that the world doesn't promote, they're gonna look at you weird and crazy. And if they have demons, the demons of them are gonna rile up and, and to, to turn on you to look at you weird or crazy, or they don't want, they wouldn't want to be around you no more. But it's crazy too, right? Let's say you want, you want to go smoke weed, you want to go get, get drunk. You want to go just, you know, just live a, a, live a life that serves the flesh, okay? Everyone wants to be your friend. You, you fit along with everybody. 
the, but the minute you don't want to do that, you're going to find yourself with not many people, not many friends. And I'm speaking to especially you young people out here because I feel like Satan right now, he's attacking the young generation. He's attacking the youth because you guys are the future. Okay, so he's going to attack you guys. He wants, because of the, this next generation coming up, Gen Z comes up being demonic. This world is over with. I mean, the world is ready. It's pretty much already. Babylon has fallen. So, but I mean, this young generation, demon time, started promoting all these agendas. You have all these satanic rappers that Satan is using to push that music in elementary school. Have you seen these videos, man? It's just straight an abomination, okay? So Satan is attacking the youth. So if all the youth is being programmed by Satan to be on demon time or just be doing demonic stuff, okay? And you you, you being the one who God chosen out of the world, you know, so anyway, when God cho when God chose you out of the world, when you become a chosen one, you have a, you have a high level of wisdom. A high level of spiritual understanding, a high level of knowledge, and that's like the Holy Spirit flowing through you and receiving all these information, to receiving all these downloads that the world doesn't receive. So they're going to feel some type of way. Okay, the people of the world are going to feel some type of way, and even though they might feel some type of way, best believe if you're obedient to God, He's going to bless you. And those same people who are talking down on you, you know, oh, He's not trying to, uh, He's not trying to eat lobster, crab, and pork, or He's celebrating the Sabbath day. You know, or, or you know, he's not he's not wanting to do this or that or she's not trying to do that. You know, they're gonna feel some type of way, but I promise, I promise you I'm living proof, living testimony. Those same people who laughed at you, who scoffed and mocked, who casted their stones, okay? You know, the same people, God's gonna make sure that, that that he sees them that you being blessed. He's gonna make sure that they see you being blessed. He's gonna make sure, just like Joseph, his own brothers, they thought that they, you know, had him, you know, deleted. But the Most High made sure that his brother, you know, and we all know what happened to Joseph. He made sure. The Most High made sure that all Christ's enemies, every single one, they all saw him, you know, that him, him being the Son of God was true. And it, see, this is the crazy part, all you chosen ones. This is so messed up, man. When you're on this earth, you chosen ones, they're not going to appreciate you. They're not going to show you the love that you deserve, the respect that you deserve. But once you're gone, once you're no longer a part of that circle, Okay, once you're no longer a part of the crowd or, you know, or maybe, you know, you said, you know, you're no longer on this earth. Okay, once that happens, okay, that's when people are going to praise you. People are going to miss being around you. You chose one. I promise you, you guys, you always are the light of the group, the group that you're in. Okay, the friend group that you're in. Okay, you are the light. The minute you start to withdraw yourself from that group, and, and, and let's say those, they're not chosen, right? Or they're not walking, they're not walking the narrow path, okay? The minute you start to withdraw, they're going to feel it, man. You chose them to have a presence, a strong presence that, you know, and, and, and that's the reason why it bothers people, okay? And it's not bothering them. It's bothering the demons inside them, okay? It is bothering the demonic spirits inside that individual. So, remember, we look at things, us chosen ones, we look at things spiritual, okay? We're not looking at, why is he mad at me? Or I don't, I don't know why he's mad. We're not, we're not led to confusion. We've been delivered from the spirit of confusion. We've been delivered from the spirit of fear. And all the on all these evil demonic spirits. Okay, we've been living that, so we understand. Okay, having the Holy Spirit and receiving things from the Most High. Oh, that person just battling demonic spirits. And and see, when we see someone battling demons, we don't go back and forth with them. Okay, because the Bible says that if you go back and forth with a scoffer, uh, with a fool, you become just like them. That's in the Book of Proverbs 20, 26 verse four. Okay, so we we gain the wisdom to okay, they're battling certain spirits. All we could just do is just pray for them and keep a distance. Okay, and see and. That's another reason why you chosen ones don't fit in this world because people of this world, guys, they have demonic spirits in them. It's just the truth. A lot of these people, I'm not going to say everyone, obviously, but most people, guys, if they're not walking with Christ, if they don't have the Holy Spirit, they'll go, they're going to be used by the devil to attack you. They're going to be used to hurt you, to betray you. I'm telling you how it is, man. And it's not just the people of the world, even these so-called religious people, okay? The, the Pharisees, who, are, you know, who, who people thought were the most holiest people, you know, the most godliest people. They, they are the ones who, you know, turned in Christ, turned in their own brother. Okay? So, in, in these last days, man, you want to stay to yourself, but you do you do want to pray for fellowship. You do want to pray for a, a, a friend that sticks closer to the brother. I'm not saying, I'm not promoting why, I'm not promoting that we should have no friends. I don't believe in that. I don't subscribe to that. Believe it or not, I know y'all may be like, what, Mark? I do not subscribe to that. Okay? It's just that if, if someone's not coming from God, I don't want to be your friend. You know, if someone's not coming from the most high or if someone's coming in my life and we do vibe and we do have a connection, but I start to see, you know, I start to see in this to the spiritual realm that, okay, you know, you're about to, you know, Satan's about to do what he does. Cause like I told you guys, if someone's not walking with God, guys, they got demonic spirits and the spirits in them. They're, and it's not like they want to hurt you. It's some people that actually do mean you well. Okay. But some people are weak. Okay. Even in the, even in the Bible, Peter. Okay. Even Christ rebuked Peter multiple times in the Bible because 
Peter was weak and the devil kept, you know, trying to use him to get to Christ. And see, think about it, man. And Peter was a disciple. Peter wasn't a Judas, okay? Peter was saved. Okay, Peter, was, Peter wasn't, you know, a, a Judas, okay? So Peter, even though he was doing the will of God, he, he was a disciple of Christ, even the devil tried to use him to get to Christ. So what makes you think that, the, you know, even your so-called brother in Christ or so-called sister in Christ, what makes you think that they're not, you know, liable or, or maybe might be able to attack you? Now, this is why you have to pray for your group. The people that you surround yourself with, okay, you got to pray for them because maybe they're not even praying for themselves. Nobody else might be praying for them but you. The light of the world, the salt of this earth, you. You're the only one that's going to be, you know, uplifting them and, and, and keeping them, you know, strong in the spirit, okay? Your presence, your strong presence being the chosen one, you motivate people, you inspire people, and, and, and they won't tell you that, of course, and it's fine. They don't have to tell you that. But deep down, they know that, like I said, guys, you are the light. Okay, you are the light of the world. And you, you being around them, people feel better. Their spirit, their soul, it feels better just you being around them. And the minute you start to dis... I know you guys have a test. Some of, you, some of you guys can relate. The minute you start to walk away from your friend group, they started to feel some type of way. But it wasn't like you were doing that because you hated them or you talked, you know, or anything like that. It's just because you wanted to walk with Christ and you knew that, you know that evil communications corrupt good manners and you didn't want to be, you know, you didn't want your spirit to be affected. Okay, and, and you do it for the better than them. It's not like you would cut them off forever. You know, maybe some people we have to. It's not that, that we want to, it's but because they're not living right. Okay, and, and we and some, sometimes guys, us chosen ones, we're empaths, so we give people a chance after a chance. We want to see people win. We want to see people bless. Even though they, they might hate us, they want they want to see us curse. We don't have that type of spirit. We want to see people. We want to see everybody win. We want to see everybody get blessed. But sometimes it's just not possible, man. It's just not possible. So in the midst of it all. We just got to keep on endearing, guys. Okay, Jesus says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved, man. So we got to keep on walking strong, keep on being bold as a lion, staying on this righteous path. It's not, it's not, it's not easy. Okay, Christ didn't say it would be easy. Okay, you know, he, denying yourself and picking up your cross daily is hard. That's not easy to do. Okay, but we know that the reward, we know that the crown of life that Christ has prepared for all people who endure to the end. And like I said, guys, we might, we, some of us might have to go through isolation people. E even in the Bible, the prophets, okay, not everyone, but you know, some of these prophets, they, they were alone in their life. Okay, and you know, they, they might have had a wife or children. I'm not saying that, you know, just like I do, you know, I have a wife and, and I have a daughter. I'm about to have a son in a couple of days from now, actually. So uh, yeah, you guys keep, uh, keep me and my wife in our, in our prayers. Um, our son should be due within the next week or two or, you know, or a couple of days, you know, could be, she could be in labor anytime, but not to make this about myself, but anyways, man, I just want to make this, keep this short. That's the reason why chosen ones have a hard time making friends. It's tough out here. Not everyone has the same journey as you. And you, and remember guys, you were, you were called first before the group, man, you're called for your chosen. Maybe your other friends haven't been called yet and that's okay. Okay. Pray for them. Okay. And you know, be the light, be the example. Okay. And so, yeah, I hope you guys got blessed out this message. If you made it this far, support the channel, like the video, subscribe to the channel, comment, share, do everything you can. I love you guys so much. You guys stay blessed. God bless you all. I love you. I'm out. Peace.